It has been 10 months since the Kadovar Islanders were relocated to the mainland of East Sepik. However, life has never been easy for the 600 islanders who have faced many issues. Minister responsible and local MP Kevin Isifu says they will be relocated. So that land is about 3,000 hectares. So we are now looking at uh, negotiating with the land owners there and uh, get, getting the paperwork in order so that we can identify it quickly. Uh, by next week, we will have a team coming down to work to, uh, to check on the status of this land and uh, resolve with the landowners so we can uh, uh, confirm that area and we can uh, um, permanently resettle our Karawar Island people. After visiting the Dandan Care Center recently, Minister Isifu made known that talks have begun with communities in Murik. He says under the Restoration Act, the islanders will be permanently resettled. Isifu says the government is aware of ECAPs faced at the Dandan Care Center. In the due course, I will, uh, I will sit down with my uh, district uh, disaster committee and my uh, uh, DDA so that we can resolve to see it how best we can look after our people and, uh, and take care of the daily needs. According to Cardover Islanders, NGOs, churches, donor partners and private stakeholders have come to their help in the past 10 months. They also want an audit into the operation of the care center. Meanwhile, National Planning Minister Richard Maru says the Cardover and Manam Islanders will be included in the 2019 budget. So I can certainly confirm uh, from my perspective uh, in the development budget for next year, we'll be, we'll be providing funding for the, re, re, the relocation of both the Karabar and the Manam people. Jack Lepave, Junior National MTV News.